I've got to watch my footing. If I fall in, I'll be sucked to the bottom of this churning water in seconds. Crocs are hard to see in the water at the best of times, but the foam produced by the falls gives them the perfect cover. This could be my most dangerous fishing location yet. Anything takes that bait. It's a large bait. It's going to be a serious sized fish. So, you know, one thing I've got to really be aware of is I don't want to be pulled in here. I, oh, fish on. Went a bit slack then, but the water is just moving around so much. It's actually gone into. It's actually gone in some of the water that's coming towards me. Feels a good size because it's it's actually coming with the current. It's, it's up to like coming out to the surface. Coming out to the surface. That's a good size fish. Gosh, that's a good size. This fish is actually going with the current. Ah, it's just stopped. There it is on the top, on the top, on the top. I think the fish is tired, but there's a real weight of water behind it. It's right in the side here. It's right in the side. Right in the side. It's tired out. I can't see the fish because there's just all that foam. How about that? How about that? Right. I've just put a bit of heavy mono through its, uh, through its mouth. What I'm going to do, I'm going to just pull it back into the water, walk it around here into some quiet water where it can recover, where I can recover as well. I'm just hoping if those crocs, that they'll prefer the fish to me. It's already starting to get a, a bit more strength back, but I want to make sure it's fully recovered before I have a proper look, because if it goes back in this water, not properly recovered, it's just going to get bashed, possibly to death, on these rocks. I'm going to need the help of my boat driver, Etchy, as this fish is too big to lift by myself. It's 112 pounds with the net. We've got to deduct a little bit for that, but that's well clear of 100 pounds. OK, and then up. OK. Right, this is one lump of an isle perch, well over 100 pounds, and just what an amazing setting to catch it from. Big old fish, ambush predators, a great big paddle of a tail there. But at the business end, look at this, you don't have tentacles like a catfish. You've got big eyes, and then you've got this protrusible jaw. And when it actually opens that quickly, it's almost telescopic, and it just engulfs fish by creating a, a vacuum. The water just rushes in. And um, one other thing just to say, look at that for a defense. It's like having six-inch nails sticking out your back. Finally, I've caught the fish that shows monster Nile perch can still be found here in Africa's Rift Valley. Oh, nice to see you go back. The fisherman was actually half inside the mouth of the fish, just the legs of the fisherman sticking out. And there it is. Look at that for a fish. Look at that. 